Winter Tubes and today I kind of want to talk about um why I've been posting so much recently and um basically what's been going on and just why I wasn't posting for such a long period of time and now all of a sudden I'm posting a lot um I have as you'll know if you've probably seen my videos before or I've talked on live streams and stuff um I have a lot of anxiety and I have a lot of OCD um and depression which it's kind of hard for me to regulate all of those things sometimes and I feel like I should be able to you know living with it for so long but it's still kind of hard um and I know like for some people it's not a priority to like post on social media but this this is like my job this is like what I want to do for the rest of my life. This is like what I'm preparing myself to do for the rest of my life. Like if I, if I don't have this, then I don't, I don't really have anything. I've made some interesting decisions in my life, which have led me to not be able to do certain things, which would be easy for other people who were more focused when they were younger. Um, and it's stressful, I guess, because I don't want to let anyone down and I don't want to let myself down. And I know a lot of other people probably struggle with this, which is why I, I want you to know it's okay to feel this way. Sometimes life just feels this way and it can be really scary. And um, I get it. You're not alone in this ever. <laughs> I really, I just really want to make it, you know? And that's kind of hard because I chose something which is so, you know, luck-based. Either you, you kind of luck out or you don't. And I feel like I haven't been trying hard enough, which is why I'm really pushing myself to make so much content and so many videos. Because I, I really want to do this, you know? ever since I started my channel back in 2015, it's been about this, you know? I lost along the way and I um, got stuck a little bit, took some setbacks, but I know this is, I have to do this, you know? Of course I want to make content for you guys, otherwise I, I wouldn't be sitting here doing this, but I just like, I want you guys to kind of know where my head's at and maybe if you're dealing with the same things, even if it's like not like content creating wise, just in general, like this might help you a little bit, I guess, or make you feel a little better. Cause I, I know sometimes it's hard when, when you're alone and in your head a lot. I, I know what that feels like. So if you're watching this and you are, just know that it's okay. I don't know if everything is gonna work out and sometimes it doesn't, but I hope that it will, you know? I'm doing something about it, and I guess that's all you can really do is try to, even if you have to force yourself a little bit to do something about it, you know? Like, I would rather just lie there and do nothing, but I, at the same time, then I'm so upset with myself because I wanna be creating content. I wanna be doing YouTube. It's all I've ever wanted to do. And that sounds really stupid to some people, but like, I always wanted to bring kind of security and like just relief and enjoyment to people. That like, if you're having a rough day or like, even if you're just doing nothing, you can just turn on the TV and, hi. <laughs> the same way when I was a kid, I sometimes needed videos like this to know that there was somebody else who I actually kind of looked up to out there who was struggling with the same thing. Not that other people look up to me, just almost a sense of like, hey, you know, she deals with the do, so maybe don't feel so bad. <laughs> like silly, stupid, lame, funny jokes, because I, I really, I just want people to laugh at something, you know, to feel better. I've always been like that. Usually people around me don't really understand it too well, but um, I've never really been the cool, popular, pretty kind of person. 
I was usually popular only because of the sense that I was kind of crazy and funny. And I guess I've always felt that way. I've never had an issue with it, of course. It's just it's who I am. So when I'm struggling to be funny, it's kind of rough for me. It's, it's like all you've ever known and, and you're having a hard time doing it. And I know some people don't find me funny. I don't expect everyone to find me funny, but I know certain people will. And I, I, I've heard people tell me that I've given them a little bit of relief from something tough, you know? just to give them a quick laugh. I guess I just want to be someone people can rely on for a sense of entertainment and, you know, relaxation, you know? My parents always told me that they watch TV and YouTube for entertainment, you know, because they don't want to think anymore. They've worked all day and they've been thinking all day they just want to sit there and just laugh or giggle or just watch and I've always thought that was such an amazing thing that someone else can entertain someone or you know help someone in some way without even knowing them so here we are <laughs> me talking to a camera because I have hope and I want you to know if you don't, that you probably should, because if I didn't have this and I didn't have hope, I wouldn't really have anything. Yeah, you can get the best everything and be super smart and be super cool and have the highest paying job and this and that, but does it really matter much if you're not happy doing what you're doing, you know? I could be going and doing that, pursuing that, easily. I think that's what upsets some people, that I could be doing that, but I'm choosing to do this. But it feels right doing this. It feels like this is what I'm supposed to be doing. And I know that's kind of a crazy thing to say when my videos are the content it is, but all I can do is hope and grow and learn and become a better YouTuber, creator, and kind of safe space for you guys and people to come. I always saw creators as this escape because it's such a cool thing that they're showing you their life and their personality and who they are. while you kind of start to forget about who you were watching them. You don't worry or stress about all these different things. You just listen and sometimes it touches you and sometimes it makes you laugh and sometimes it makes you really happy. I, I'm, there's, I'm sure there's some videos on YouTube which I just sit there and rewatch over and over again because they're amazing, you know? This is content someone might have put out at the worst point in their life, but for some reason it touched me and a million other people. All I can do is hope to be that kind of person one day. No matter how cheesy that truly sounds, is really what I want, you know? And I know there's some influencers who just do it for the money or just do it for this or that. And I know it sounds cheesy, me wanting to do it for that reason, but I... <laughs> how I am I guess <laughs> I really ask for myself to be this way but I am so yeah I hope you guys can find that kind of detox from your life struggles whatever it may be when you come to my channel you know for it to be a safe place and just somewhere to take a break I've always all wanted to be really genuine with my following and I've tried to keep that genuine kind of connection so I make sit down videos like this talking about my mental health and stuff like that because if it wasn't for you guys I, re I really you know I don't know what I do sometimes you guys mean a lot to me and I know 
we usually content creators micro or huge usually just say that but most some of us really mean it and i i do you know so yeah thanks see you later spookies